to hear something interesting? Because the village that I'm staying at doesn't have a garbage can anywhere around, like an actual dumpster, everybody who, who is in the village goes to this dump site over here and dumps garbage and old dead wood and anything that needs to be destroyed or put away or just don't need to be at the house anymore. I mean, this right here is really a bad sign because garbage cans need to be everywhere and to have a dump like this a dump site actually that is not really a dump site you basically you're destroying nature itself by throwing trash into nature is not really a place where you should be throwing garbage because the garbage is piling up and there's not much room to, th to throw other stuff other than to like th literally throw it over there Somebody will come by, I don't know when, and I don't know who, will come by and light up this area, hopefully not a big fire, and just make it the pile a lot smaller by burning everything over here. There's a massive anthill. There's even a bigger anthill here. I don't know about you, but looking at this ground here, there's a big possibility that there are snakes living here. And I don't like snakes. I don't know about you, but I can't stand them. Last time I was here on the farm land, about two years ago, I saw a salamander. But it was so green that it could be easily be a gecko. And you get a lot of salamanders and lizards and all types of reptiles living over here. Because it's such a tropical place and in a lot of shade area where they can easily hide. But like I said before, I'm not a fan of snakes. This haystack right here used to be at that pole right there. There used to be another one right there that was removed. And there'd be two full high stacks of hay that my grandfather caught up so they can feed it to the cows. Mm. There's a whole bunch of bottles over here that my grandfather and I placed in 2009 to prevent deer from coming in and eating all the crops. There are deer that live around here and we saw, a, few, a couple weeks ago we saw one pass through and when the wind hits these bottles it makes a noise and scares the, the deer away and any other type of predators that they might try to, to eat any of the crops that they were growing. This whole section here used to be all grapes, like a wine yard area. But now since no no grapes were seeded, if you want to call it that, that way, there's no more grapes to, to be or grown. Man, this land used to have so much growing from it, but as time progresses, you know, as you get older and older, it gets harder and harder to keep up with the work ahead of a schedule. And what's going to be happening is that eventually my parents will take over this land because it's still our, our lease. It's part of our family land from generation to generation to generation to generation. And they're going to be the ones who, who's going to be farming over here and be the next generation of farmers and then me and then my son and so on and so forth oh look another place where hay was placed because the amount of work that is dedicated on this land is so tremendous right now my grandfather basically took all the smaller things like potatoes and onions and peas and beans and a whole bunch of other small crops that could be easily by hand digged up and grown and placed more seeds in and moved it to a smaller location which is still also part of our land but it's now in a little small garden area instead of a ginormous land area as you can see like this those trees over there used to grow apples 
and then it used to, used to be chestnuts growing on those uh, trees right there and then it used to be a watermelon and oh uh there used to be corn uh, uh just a little bit further down Plum, oh, plums used to be over here too squash was also grown over here as well pears pears were grown on a, a separate land that was just in this direction and it's also p part of our land. We own a whole bunch of different places but this right here is the main area. It stretches off for acres that way and that house over there, if you can barely see it I'll try to zoom in that house right there when my father was my age he basically lived in that house and he basically watched and take care of the sheep as a the sheep keeper or while my grandparents worked and then he would help also with anything that needs to be helped out and that house also served as a resting place basically my grandparents would get on the tractor bring the wagon as well and then they would load up on tools and accessories they would come over here work their butts off from Monday and not leave but literally spend the night at that house and sp spend Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday here literally just staying in that house not, not leaving, not going back to the main house staying at that little house right there and then Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening they would get back on the tractor and then they would head back to, to, the, to the main house and then on a Sunday morning it is time for, for, to, to go to the local flea market and buy fruits and vegetables and other things like clothes and fuel f for your vehicles and other th things that they might need and then on Monday you get up early in the morning and do it all over again well, time to head back Three, two, one, ignition. Just so you know, if you go in that direction, you'll taste the most pure spring water that's around this area. There's a trail that goes this way all the way down. It's not that far. If you walk, it's about five minutes. If you go with a tractor or a motorbike or some kind of off-road vehicle, around 2-3 minutes at least and also another thing the person who owns this land they mowed the lawn but they didn't bother to, to clean up the road there is literally grass all over the dirt road 